as Ed Altmar, I think, could be looking at a big, big punishment from UEFA. The bad news for as Ed Altmar was that last night, UEFA's two top security and safety representatives were at the game. A Slovenian and a Finn. And the Finn is Juha Karjalainen. He's a senior safety and security expert at UEFA. So they will throw the book at Zad, AZ Altmar. Of that, there is no doubt. You would think if you are the president, if you are the, one of the directors at AZ Altmar this morning, you're looking at a, a, at least a fine, possibly a stadium yeah, closure. I mean, now tell me it's the English disease. Um, look, the bottom line is, is that they're not football fans. I don't know what they are, but they're not football fans. Um, I don't suppose that they were particularly aiming for the for the family enclosure, but that's just perhaps uh, a quirk of un unintended consequences about the way loca where they're located, the travelling um, fans or the travelling family. I mean, what can you say about it? There's not a lot you can say about it, is there? The, you know, the fact there wasn't any arrests, I don't quite know why that wasn't the case, but notwithstanding that, I'm always loath. I hate the fact that the club gets consequenced for individual choices made by individual morons because there's not a lot the club can do about it. What can the club do about people deciding they want to behave that way? Yeah. But that's the necessary consequence and that's the ramifications of it. What it does is it tells you that there's a lot going on around football and around society at this moment that's seemingly giving people a sense of entitlement to behave in a way uh, and using a football match as an excuse just to be thugs and hooligans and whatever else they intended to be there. and cowards. Yeah. Cowards going, you know, if you're going to go and do something that you think you're you know you've got some right to do why don't you do it full in full in the glare without wearing masks and mm. hoods and whatever else they do I mean, they're not football fans Jim but they're if, not you, football if you're fans. David Sullivan this morning though Simon and uh, he's not back in his office at this stage but mm. if you're Sullivan this morning are you asking your counterpart at Altmar like what was done what was put into process that this might have been prevented? Because something like this, uh, the side well, of the pitch, yeah. they're wandering around freely. Yeah. There's always a chance it's going to happen. Yeah, you'd like to think that there was... I mean, again, this has UEFA's footprints, fingerprints all over it because it's their tournaments, it's their competitions, they must have intelligence. The police are, have, you know, real understanding of what goes on in the build-up to games because it's not really secrets that people behave in a certain way at football stadiums. They organise it amongst themselves to do so. So, again, you wonder about how much discipline and focus is put on to ensuring that activities of the pit, of the pitch are maintained in a certain way. But if I'm David Sullivan, you know, I'm pleased that nothing's happened. I'm pleased that my fans haven't gotten involved in situations where it can subsequently become something about us as well. And I would wait to hear what other people have to say about it because they're on the plane back from Holland to London with a European final in, 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 in the offing. Mm. And, and a, a sense of... Well, that wasn't very pleasant, but up and onward we go. Yeah, yeah. It do, it does take the edge off it, uh, Stuart, does it not? Well, I mean, when you see scenes like that, you you looked at some of them on yeah. my phone online this morning. Yeah, we're, we're talking about that rather than the football, the achievement and all of that. Yes, we've got to touch on it. We, we, we're a topical show. But I find that quite sad that we have to actually give it airtime in many ways, you know. It, it, yeah. We have to, but it, it's a sad thing. We should be concentrating on a brilliant result for the football club. And it is a brilliant result for the football club. And they get to the final in Prague, uh, particularly poignant for the likes of uh, Thomas Suchek, who's going back home. But um, nonetheless, there was trouble, and it was considerable trouble, and there there will be implications to it. Um, if you're a West Ham fan back in, uh, back in England this morning, did you witness any of it? We are in and around it. Do you want to talk about it? If you do, you might want to give us a call. Jim White. And Simon Jordan, Monday to Thursday morning, 10 till 1. On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app, and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.